All right, ready. Well, if he, what being you, old. <laughs> what do you think about uh, what, what Kendra was able to do last week? Is, is he somebody who's kind of, after that injury, starting to kind of find a little bit of a groove? Yeah, I think so. I think um, I thought he made the most of his opportunities and felt really good coming out of the game uh, when the ball was in his hands, what he was able to do in that, um, in that game. What? I'm sure there's 30 answers to this question, but what in particular has started helping the run game to get going for you guys? Oh, I think that obviously, I think Doug and his group and all those guys, I think they do a great job every week. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's me also calling more of them. A lot of times, you know, you get a little, get some more called more, and you get a little bit of a rhythm, and those guys get going. But I think our offensive line has done a nice job coming off the ball and attacking those guys. How, how hard is that? a chicken versus egg question, but I mean, when you gain zero on first and 10 and it's now second and 10, how hard is it to stay stubborn? Well, I think that, uh, you know, in the back of your mind, you might always kind of have a call, but then when you get to second and long type of situations, it's something that we've throughout the week have kind of put a, together a little package of say, hey, these are kind of the plays that we're visualizing getting to. Obviously, it's a lot easier, like you're saying, if you get four or five on the first down and then you, then you can really pick from wherever you want. So I think uh, obviously when the longer situations, it's probably obviously a much higher tendency to pass. Is that, if you're able to get it going, does that help play action? Does, it, does I the think run it, game even Yeah, I think, it, with that? I think it helps everything. Yeah, but particularly the, with the play action, I think if you're you know able to string a few runs together with some success and then all of a sudden just you know um, dial up a play action, I think that all goes hand in hand, yes. Is there, is it just like a preference thing? You'll usually kind of ranked bottom just like play action attempts? Is that just like within the scheme of the offense? Uh, I think that I would just say that's me calling more. I really would. I mean, that's, um, you know, we kind of go into most games with the, a certain amount and, uh, you know, you come out of the game and, you, you know, maybe there's a few that you're like, ah, I wish I had gotten to that. So I think that's just a matter of me getting to more of them. But is it also sometimes just presented on what the defense is giving yeah, you? Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it is. It's also presented maybe with the, what the defense is giving you. Maybe how what what did happen on first down? Do you feel better about it? Um, you know, if it's all of a sudden second and long, are you going to get a softer defense and maybe not get a chance to? So I think that all is part of it. Yes. Da mentioned some of the all starts might have been a product of you know some of the different wrinkles that you had incorporated. Is that kind of a balancing act of trying to be innovative but also trying to make sure everyone's kind of? Yeah, I think I think we got to do a better job of it. I think that the pre-snap penalties, if we want to you know, be doing some of those things, then we got to be able to handle it, especially on the, uh, you know, a little bit uh, tougher on the road, maybe with the noise and stuff like that. But I think that, uh, I think that it gives you advantages and yet we got to take advantage, you know, take advantage of those. Um, and so those false starts, we, we can't have those. I mean, just in general, do you think that kind of the, the attack you had in that first half, was it a bit more, I don't want to say innovative, but you know. No, of, I think right? it's just incorporating them as part of your plan and, uh, you know, a lot of times they might be on the call sheet, and it's what we would—it's bracketed, so you could or you could not. And it's just a matter of doing it. What are some of the uh, the challenges that a Houston Texans defense presents? Well, I think this. I think they play extremely fast. I think they're well coached. I think they're always in the right spots. Ton of energy. They compete. They take the ball away. A lot of uh, you know forced fumbles. So I think that uh, uh, you know I think that they uh, like to do what they do, and yet they do it at a high level. Play fast. They are extremely uh, energetic and competitive and tough. Yeah. What do, do you do? You notice maybe a sense of maturity that separates them too. I mean, you've got a first-year head coach, but it looks like they've been playing. I, I, yeah, I think I think they're extremely well coached. Always seem to be in the right spots, and I think they make you earn everything you got to get. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You've coached up at, against New England a few times up there. How weird was that seeing, hearing them boot? Well, I think you know. I think that uh, I guess that's just kind of part of it. Obviously. Uh, they've had so much success over the last history of the last, I guess, 25 years, whatever it is. But I think that, uh, you know, I guess that's it's part of it. It could happen anywhere. Pete, when, when you had the, the kind of offensive breakout like last week, what's in your mind kind of the key to just like establishing that? Is yeah, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, obviously scoring touchdowns in the red zone, that's obviously a bigger, makes such a big difference. But I think that, uh, you know, you come out of the game, you, you feel good about the win, and yet there's still a lot of stuff that has to get cleaned up. And you guys have already mentioned the penalties being one of them. Um, and I think it hurt us a couple times in third down. You come out of the game and you look at your third down numbers, and that's not good enough. And sometimes those are part of 
what happened with the penalties knocking us back a little bit. And so I think that uh, a lot to clean up in those aspects. Does it present any kind of a challenge to have a game to where you know you win 34 to zero? You have this great offensive output, and then you come in and say, okay, there's still these things that are that we want to improve. Like, yeah. how do you manage that? Well, I think this. I think we just we coach them the same every week, win or loss, mm -hmm. make the corrections. Um, and I think when you really come out of that game, I thought we hurt ourselves a few times. We uh, got good field position from the defense a couple times, and a couple of those times we didn't do anything, and we ended up kicking a field goal for points. So I think that. Uh, you come away from that game thinking, well, we had the opportunity to score more points. And, you know, when you're watching the film with your players and showing them, and you know, we got a great group, though. Are there, are there other reasons besides the penalties that uh, shifts and motions are a negative or, or a higher degree of difficulty? Or does it take no, away I, your I, ability I, to have two line calls? I think we line? just, I think if we want to do them, we got to be able to do it without having those the pre snap penalties because, um, those are, you know, those are errors that shouldn't happen. Those are, what are other reasons not like to choose not to do it? Well, I think sometimes, you know, it might give, when you do do it, maybe it gives you an advantage to see what is the defense doing or maybe to give a guy access or um, maybe to set a certain front. Um, and then you might look at it and say, yeah, just maybe it's too much, too much, and you don't need to do it on this play because it doesn't, it doesn't really, it doesn't help you. Maybe it doesn't hurt you, but uh, obviously if uh, – if we're gonna do it, we can't let it hurt us. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. Appreciate all right. it. See you all later.